Lord of the Dance Hymn. Lord of the Dance is a hymn written by English songwriter Sidney Carter in 1963. The melody is from the American Shaker song Simple Gifts. The hymn is widely performed in English-speaking congregations and assemblies. The song follows the idea of the traditional English carol, Tomorrow Shall Be My Dancing Day, which tells the gospel story in the first-person voice of Jesus of Nazareth, the device of portraying Jesus' life and mission as a dance. Author's Perspective In writing the lyrics to Lord of the Dance, Carter was inspired partly by Jesus, but also by a statue of the Hindu deity Shiva as Nataraja Shiva's dancing pose which sat on his desk. He later stated, I did not think the churches would like it at all. I thought many people would find it pretty far-flown, probably heretical and anyway dubiously Christian. But, in fact, people did sing it, and, unknown to me, it touched a chord, Carter wrote. I see Christ as the incarnation of the piper who is calling us. He dances that shape and pattern which is at the heart of our reality. By Christ I mean not only Jesus. In other times and places other planets, there may be other lords of the dance. But Jesus is the one I know of first and best. I sing of the dancing pattern in the life and words of Jesus. Whether Jesus ever leaped in Galilee to the rhythm of a pipe or drum I do not know. We are told that David danced, and as an act of worship too, so it is not impossible. The fact that many Christians have regarded dancing as a bit ungodly in a church at any rate does not mean that Jesus did. The Shakers didn't. This sect flourished in the United States in the 19th century, but the first Shakers came from Manchester in England, where they were sometimes called the Shaking Quakers. They hived off to America in 1774 under the leadership of Mother Anne. They established celibate communities, men at one end, women at the other, though they met for work and worship. Dancing for them was a spiritual activity. They also made furniture of a functional, lyrical simplicity. Even the cloaks and bonnets that the women wore were distinctly stylish in a sober and forbidding way. Their hymns were odd, but sometimes of great beauty from one of these simple gifts I adapted this melody. I could have written another for the words of Lord of the Dance some people have, but this was so appropriate that it seemed a waste of time to do so. Also, I wanted to salute the Shakers. Sometimes, for a change, I sing the whole song in the present tense. I dance in the morning when the world is begun. Mm, begun. Mm, begun. It's worth a try. Reception Verse 3 of the hymn, which includes the line that the holy people said it was a shame, has been analyzed as implying collective Jewish responsibility for the death of Jesus and therefore conflicting with Catholic doctrine. However, Sidney Carter also criticized holier-than-thou religious attitudes through his other work, including song lyrics such as The Vicar is a Beatnik about social conservatives in the Church of England. Notable Recordings Martin Carthy and Dave Swarbrick on the album But Two Came by 1968 The McCommons on the album Singers 3 1969 The Corries on the live album The Corries in Concert 1969 Donovan on the album HMS Donovan 1971 The Dubliners on the album Now 1975 Champions of Europe Stand Free on the album Gothenburg 1983, the Bach Choir on the album Family Carols 1991, Charlie Zom on his album The Celtic Balladeer 1999, Blackmore's Night on the album Winter Carols 2007 and 7 and 7 and 7 and 7, Salisbury Cathedral Choir on the album Great Hymns from Salisbury 2013. New World on Beside the Single Caracara 1971, 